Okay, welcome to part two of the Jet Strike tutorial. Um, this one is going to be based around just adding a little bit of uh, some more effects to our composition, uh, just to give it just that little bit of realism. And so, as you can see, we've got uh, some afterburner here. We've got some optical flares, and obviously the fun, final color grading. What I like to do um, to give it that sort of cinematic look is finish it off in Premiere Pro. Or you can sort of finish it off in, um, uh, uh, sorry, Final Cut um, if you uh, want to. So obviously I never do my sort of uh, final grading in After Effects because I try and use Premiere Pro for the audio and for the final color correction to give it that sort of cinematic look. So if we just play, obviously we've got the Afterburner burning at the back here. It doesn't look too bad. Um, We've got some, if I just bring it back, we've got some optical flares at the top to um, simulate the uh, the sum, as you can see. And it's not a bad, you know, little um, effect. Also, we've added some heat uh, distortion to our smoke. So, basically, what I wanted to try and do for this tutorial is try and stay away um, from using Particular, even though Particular is really good for... Uh, stuff like this, but um, obviously it's another expensive plugin that I'm sort of trying to stay away from to make life easier. Um, the I'll just quickly show you how um, we've actually done this. So um, smoke, basically, what I did was um, if I just switch that off, um, smoke was taken from um, Action Essentials 2, um, and basically all I did was um, uh, put it below my camera. Um, and put it into position and just keyframe it. Um, if I can just find my keyframes, uh, just keyframe it um, in with um, the plane so it basically um, uh, stayed with the jet. Um, also, um, this is actually smoke. Okay, um, what I actually did was I um, changed the um, the um, you know the the, the setting to try and recreate sort of like a fire effect and the way I did that was add another free um, after uh, sorry video copilot plugin called VC color vibrance which are basically placed over the top um, of um, our smoke so if I was to um, take that off like so um, as you can see there's just literally nothing there and when I turn it on, it's actually there. Also, um, I used um, Heat Distortion, uh, which is another plugin from uh, Video Copilot to create um, the heat sort of effect um, uh, within our composition. So let me just um, get rid of um, the smoke for now. And basically, um, obviously, um, in my adjustment in my background layer, you know, I've just added um, a, a basically an optical flare, um, which is here. Um, um, I've added it and basically placed it to the top and moved it along. Um, the optical flare that I used, um, if I just show you, um, just come up to here and just bring this. Okay, so if I just go to options and open optical flares, I used the standard one here um, because it, you know, gives the element of, you know, a sun ray. Um, and I sort of placed that um, uh, basically over the top of the composition um, and then animated it forward. Um, but what I'll try and do now is I'm going to show you, try and show you how I um, sort of done the smoke. Um, there is a lot of keyframing in with the smoke, but um, I'm just gonna grab our smoke and I'm just going to drop it um, into my uh, composition. Um, and as you can see, I'm just gonna bring it down to uh, half render um, here's the smoke and basically all I did was um, is I um, moved the smoke into position um, you know did a bit of rotation um, like so uh, sort of put it oh sorry about that guys uh, put it into position like so um, you know put it to the back of my jet um, and just basically scaled it down Right, so, um, and then because it's quite hard to see, obviously, because of the color tone, what you can do is just turn off your uh, your background so you can basically see um, 
the, uh, the, the, the afterburner. Now, obviously, what we did also, we went right click, we went to effects, and obviously, we went to video copilot and VC color vibrance with, which is a free uh, plugin from video copilot. So, there's no excuses uh, for that one because it is a freebie. And I just sort of brought my tones down and then clicked OK, and that's just given me a really nice sort of afterburner um, effect. And all I did was keyframe it along with the movement um, of the jet. Um, also, uh, right clicks, um, went to effects, uh, video copilot, uh, heat distortion. I put some heat distortion to basically give it an element of heat. And I've just literally punched that up uh, just a little bit. And that just gives it a nice sort of, if I put this to a full res, um, it gives it a nice element that there's actually heat coming from. Um, the jet um, as well um, you don't have to use heat distortion if you haven't got it I mean because it's still if I just turn it off it don't look you know too bad without it but the heat distortion just if you look at the difference just gives it a little bit more of but you you know you don't have to uh, basically use it and then basically all we're doing um, if you get this black screen we go to right click on uh, smoke we're going to go to blend mode and we're going to change that to uh, screen and then what we're going to do is we're just going to drop it below like so so keep it above um, like that and then we're just going to move it along like that two seconds I don't know what's happened here um, let's just go to blending mode and stick it to add okay so that's what I did sorry I do apologize uh, so blend in mode and stick it to um, uh, add as well um, and then all I did was um, went out back into color vibrance um, and brought the tones back a bit um, up a bit um, and just punched the vibrancy up as well like so so yeah um, the final shot obviously is after you've you know you've, you've basically uh, put this into position um, what I will do is turn your background off um, and just keyframe the jets without no background so you can sort of see so if I just start here and I'll just click on uh, uh, P on the keyboard for our position click my stopwatch um, and then I'm going to move the uh, jet along um, it doesn't take long long to do this because as long as you've got a sort of semi skill uh, still sort of image um, it's not going to um, it's only literally when as you can see the jets move in um, you can sort of uh, stick a null in there and track it but to me um, I don't mind doing it like this because it doesn't take too long anyway so I bring it forward and then just place it up right here and bring it forward and just, just make sure that the um, the afterburner lines nicely with the the back um, of the jet but it's actually quite a nice effect actually you know what I mean just bring it into position like so keep going and just keep going basically until you get to the end of the comp but because we've um, added our heat distortion um, that's allowed us to sort of like be a bit rough with the movement of the um, of the fire. So this has gone up a bit, but it hasn't gone up too much. Um, if we was to solo without heat distortion, then you would notice it would be all up and down, and you would notice it quite a bit. Um, but it's just a case of just going through the frames. Um, this is a poor man's way of sort of doing it without particular. I have got particular, but I just find it nicer to do it like this because. Um, a lot of people haven't got particular so um, it's better to do it like this so uh, switch background on and as you can see we've got a nice sort of afterburner sort of working uh, within our lighting as well so it doesn't look too red as you can see it's all blended in nice with our background so then when we finally render 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 the scene out um, we've got a nice uh, afterburner uh, blown out the back of our jet so yeah that is basically it now um i will be doing a, a, a part three to this tutorial um and it will be based around color correcting the entire scene 
within Premiere Pro. So once it's done, obviously, you're gonna to wanna to put it in Premiere Pro. Maybe just give it some borders and give it a real, real proper cinematic look. So I may do a part three um, if requested, um, but I think I probably will anyway, just uh, for fun. So yeah, um, like I say, I mean, you can add your adjustment layer. Adjustment layers is basically um, so I can sort of add me, you know, me glows. As you can see, I've got a, a glow channel here, and it just, you know, it just gives everything, you know, the background, you know, a lot more of a of a sort of sunny sort of feel, and it sort of makes your lights pop a bit as well. These lights here will pop with the glow as well. So yeah, guys, I hope you found this interesting. Um, uh, we probably will be doing a lot of our part three, um, where we'll be going to color correct the whole scene. Um, you know, there is other ways to do the afterburner. It is based on taste, um, but after the final composition is done and it's done perfect, um, this actually doesn't look too bad at all. It actually looks like quite nice effect, and that's just basically using um, a smoke element from Action Essentials too. So thanks for listening guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, please subscribe and give this a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Cheers guys. Take care.